Hi Nelly, I got myself again, just start listening to the music, sorry about that. Welcome to Wednesday's Evening Prayers, welcome everyone, Denise, Risha, Barbara, Laura, um, I, I can't, all the names have just suddenly disappeared, but welcome to everyone, it's lovely of you to join us this evening. Just let me see if I can turn, um, turn this down slightly, there we go. So tonight as part of the... Um, prayer for the nation and month of prayer during the second lockdown <coughs> excuse me we're going to be praying for businesses the workplace economic well-being of the world and yes a slight candle overload there just indulging myself again so as we just take a moment using the Compline service. Tonight I sit in the place of quiet, breathing in and out. I close my eyes to distraction. I close my ears to the world's noise. I sink into the presence of the Eternal One. Divine love in me, holy love around me. Enter the depths of my being. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we take a moment to reflect on the past day, to count our blessings, and look forward with hope for tomorrow's blessings. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, 
creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath, our souls are raised to life from death. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O oh Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid for, up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Verses from Matthew 24. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour.
we share prayers for the nation. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, we turn our hearts to you. In ages past, you've delivered our nation from disaster. Do it again, we pray. Give wisdom beyond human wisdom to our leaders. Give strength beyond human strength to the NHS and all our frontline workers. Give comfort beyond human comfort to children and the elderly and all who grieve. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, turn your face towards us. Have mercy upon us and heal our land, we pray. In this time of great challenge, we pray for the economic well-being of the country. We remember before God those who face great uncertainty in their work. We lift before God those who have lost their jobs and face an uncertain and difficult future. We pray for a renewed commitment to our common life together. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always open, always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts that with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights in the world. Thank you for joining us again and yes Barbara it is very peaceful I think just looking at the candles is uh, is very peaceful too very calming so I hope you all have a wonderful evening and if it's been a difficult day we pray that tomorrow is a little brighter good night